Because a lot of it, in short, is getting over yourself. It's getting out of your own way. It's not allowing your ego to determine the decisions that you make anymore. Have you ever felt lost on your spiritual journey like you're experiencing a dark night of the soul? Here's why it's actually a good thing and why we actually need to be having these types of experiences. In essence, the dark night of the soul is a feeling inside of you in which you're feeling stuck, confused, anxious, worried, and not very certain on what exactly will happen after this stage that you're currently experiencing. Maybe there's a sense of dread with a situation that you're in that seems as though there's no positive way out of it. Or it could be the existential crisis of not knowing what you should be focusing on, what you should be caring about in your life at its current stage. But this is actually something really good and something that we have to be going through because what's on the other side of it is actually getting what we want. We feel moved and compelled to make decisions and take action in all different directions, but nothing is very clearly standing out as what you know the universe wants us to do or what we truly resonate with. What's on the other side of that is actually having that clarity, feeling that deep resonance, knowing that you are on the right path and that you are aligned with what the universe wants for you. You could have been holding on to something for a long time and turning a blind eye towards all of the negative effects that it's had in your life. But now those negative effects are rearing their ugly heads. And because you are continuing to ignore those signs and signals, that is why you're in the dark night of the soul. You have no idea what to do about the situation that you're in, but you do know that what you want ultimately is clarity. You want to have that clear direction of how to move forward with your life. You want to feel as though you are connected and that good things are happening. For me, this most often happens whenever I'm working really hard and I seem to hit a wall and I just continuously try to push through that wall. The problem is eventually I get burned out and I get frustrated and ultimately feel as though what I'm doing isn't working and that it won't work. What I do in those scenarios is I actually carve out time for self-care, perhaps in an even deeper way than I might normally allow myself to experience. So I'll do whatever I need to do to enter a calm, relaxed state. And typically, this most effectively happens, with all honesty, whenever I'm in some kind of either like a sauna or I'm taking a nice, long, warm shower or a long, warm Epsom bath. This helps my mind to very deeply relax and I'm not so emotional. I'm not so caught up in how I want things to be because that's where a lot of the chaos and confusion is coming from. And whenever I allow myself to relax, it enables me to see things for how they are. And whenever I can see things for how they are, maybe how the decisions that I've been making have been influencing my life, then that enables me to ask myself, like, do I truly want to continue doing this in this way? You know, would, would there possibly be any other decision that I could make that could help me to achieve what it is that I'm looking for, as opposed to staying on the path that I'm currently on? A lot of times we don't get to the place where we're willing to consider those alternative possibilities until we've relaxed ourselves enough to consider those outcomes. So doing whatever you need to do to enter those very deep and relaxed states, that's the most important thing when it comes to moving through the dark night of the soul. Because a lot of it, in short, is getting over yourself. It's getting out of your own way. It's not allowing your ego to determine the decisions that you make anymore. And with all honesty, the faster you can get out of your own way, the faster that you can see how your ego has determined your decisions and, and how there are possibilities of making decisions that aren't being influenced by your ego, the faster that you can get to that place, the faster you can move through the dark night of the soul, the faster that you can get what it is that you truly want. 
And I've spoken about a few things that you can do to help you enter those deeply relaxed states, but if you want to know other practices that can help you enter those deeply relaxed states of mind, then watch this video right here and like this video if you enjoyed watching this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video and until the next one, I love you all. Peace.